Let's go! I always see a lot of comments asking me to cover newer projects so that you can have the opportunity to get in early. So that is what I will be doing today. I am going to be talking about the student coin project and how it is planning to bring tokenization into the mainstream of society. If you did not know, tokenization is simply the act of taking a real world asset and then creating a token or NFT to represent it on the blockchain. This comes with a lot of benefits such as the ability to easily represent fractional ownership in things, the ability to easily crowdfund capital for startups or other types of businesses, being able to implement decentralized governance and easy payments. The student coin platforms makes designing, creating and managing your own token as easy as using a normal social platform. In this video, I will be going over the details of the platform itself, the tokenomics of the STC token that powers the platform, the project's plans for the future, and how to take part in the STC token ICO that is currently happening and will continue until the end of April. Before I get into all of that, make sure to subscribe and turn on post notifications so you do not miss out on more videos like this in the future, as well as other interesting videos such as low cap altcoins and much more. And also a big thanks to Student Coin for sponsoring this video. So I think the easiest way to get a good understanding of this project as a whole is to just watch the short explanatory video on their site right here. So let's do that and then I will go a bit more in depth in some areas after. Student Coin is the world's biggest educational token created at universities. It allows for building and managing your own personal, corporate and DeFi tokens. It already supports over 500 universities in 30 countries, aiming to put tokenization into the mainstream. The tokenization is extremely profitable for firms, startups, universities, and individuals, as it gives an option for unlimited crowdfunding and decentralized governing. The easy tokenization is possible by the ecosystem built by Student Coin with STC Terminal and STC Exchange as the core platforms. With STC Terminal, you can create your own personal token, startup token, or decentralized loan token in the same way as your profile on social media. After creating your own token, you may trade it, perform crowdfunding, and easily manage its utilities with the STC Exchange. The tokenization will be powered by the STC token. Everyone will be able to stake STC and earn dividends from STC Exchange and STC Terminal fees. The STC token will also be used by the template for creating new tokens. By holding STC, you'll be holding a part of all tokens ever created with Student Coin. Get involved in the Student Coin and build the emerging ecosystem for tokenization. All right, now that you have a better idea of the goals of the project and how it works, let's take a look at some of the main benefits of it. First, it has a long-term goal in mind and has a fundamental value that it plans to provide. This sets it apart from some other projects that are just created to take advantage of short-term hype and then they just stop working on them. Second is that holders of the SDC token will not only make profits as its price increases, but through what are essentially dividends as well because STC holders receive a cyclical payment of a portion of the fees from the student coin exchange and crowdfunding. Third is the fact that student coin has already built up a global community with over 90,000 users at 500 different schools in 36 different countries. These include schools such as Harvard, Stanford, Oxford, Cambridge, and many other well-known schools as well. As they point out right here, social media also began being used at universities and has since exploded in usage and adoption. And that is what Student Coin team is hoping will happen for the tokenization as well. Now, let's look at the roadmap to see what is planned for the rest of 2021 and beyond. As you can see, currently the ICO is ongoing. After that is completed, the next big step forwards will be listing STC on multiple major exchanges that have not been announced yet. In Q3, the actual platform will be launched with the STC exchange going live along with the STC terminal and STC public app. In Q4, the listing of the first personal startup organizational and DeFi tokens will start to take place on the STC exchange. Last but not least, in 2022 and beyond, the team will be working to establish a sustainable tokenization ecosystem. Now for the part I'm sure a bunch of you have been waiting for, and that is how to take part in the ongoing initial coin offering or ICO of the STC token. 
So first off, you got the link down in the description. So make sure to check that out if you want to sign up for this. But all you have to do is to go to the student coin app, create a simple account with an email, and then you can buy some STC with either a cryptocurrency sent from Coinbase, a deposit of Ethereum or a bank transfer of fiat. As you can see right here, the ICO is in phase 109. The way this ICO has been created is a bit different than usual, but in a good way. So the ICO started at round one with the lowest price available and then has progressed through many rounds since then and a bit higher price each round. This is to create a more fair distribution and to try to prevent the dump that can happen when an ICO ends by making sure that there is a variety of holders with all different cost basis. There will be 150 rounds in total to the ICO and it will be ending on April the 30th. So if you want, there's still a good amount of time to take part in it. Of course, there is a substantial risk involved in buying into any ICO at all. So it is very early stage investing. So make sure to do your own research outside of what I provide in this video and practice good risk management if you decide to invest in it. So with that said, now let's take a look at the white paper to understand how the student coin platform will actually function. There are three primary components to it, the STC terminal, the STC exchange, and the STC app. The STC terminal is the software that will allow individuals, firms, organizations, and anyone else to easily and quickly create and manage their own STC based tokens. Some of the things that they will be able to control are the name of the token, the supply, the utility, governance of the token, and how their tokens are sold. The STC exchange is where all STC-based tokens will be able to be bought and sold. Basically, the token with the ticker STC itself is the utility token of the platform and will be exchanged on normal centralized exchanges. But all of the second layer STC-based tokens will not be traded on normal centralized exchanges, but rather the STC exchange, so they will be all available in one place. This exchange will be powered by the base STC token and the holders of it will receive a portion of the generated fees from it. Last but not least is the STC app, which will be available on mobile and desktop. The app will store, swap and utilize the DeFi and personal utility tokens created in the STC terminal. Along with these basic features, StudentCoin also plans to be a large provider of educational content in the topics of blockchain technology, decentralized finance and tokenization. I think this is good because many projects do not do enough to help people understand them and why they are important. While the STC token itself is an ERC20 based on Ethereum, the STC based tokens will be a bit different. They can be created in any of the six categories shown here, such as loan tokens, DeFi tokens, startup tokens, or even NFTs. These tokens come with a variety of benefits and features that are all listed here. Of course, not every token will have all of these features, but it is nice to have them available as it will allow for a high degree of customization. In conclusion, I think that this project is based on a very strong fundamental idea that tokenization will play a big part in the future of not just the financial system, but our everyday lives. And it is one of the first projects trying to become an all-in-one platform to support the shift to a tokenization system. So if they can succeed in reaching their roadmap goals and building up a base of users, then I think that StudentCoin could be successful. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to let me know down in the comment section. As always, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.